Here we are out on the 1895 Rudge, and what a joy it is. Beautiful sunny day, great bike. This is an interesting 1895 Rudge Whitworth Road Racer, as well as being the last of the upsloper style of Rudges, which went out of fashion by 1896. This 1895 model actually has a few later features. They're they're quite discreet ones. The saddle pin is a wider diameter, uh, like the bikes from 1896 onwards, and the pedals are not slotted cranks, but again, uh, la later style. So they were already fitting uh, the more modern innovations in 1895, even though they weren't officially announced until 1896. This model has 28 by 1 and 3 quarter tyres. It's a very awkward size to find these days. Uh, the transfers on the bike are wonderful. It says the Rudge on the top tube and the headstock has a transfer too. The seat tube shows a French shop transfer. And the implication is that uh, this was sold by the, the Paris office. It's a very light machine, very easy to ride, and um, was obviously quite popular in its day, but by 1896 the upsloper style was old-fashioned and Rudge dumped all their old upslopers. They sold them all off at half price. Rudge Whitworth history, of course, is a combination of two different companies, Rudge and Whitworth. Daniel Rudge was famous. Uh, he started a wagon wheel building business and then ran the Cogent Cycle Company. He was interested in racing and with his friend Henry Clark's help he began to build his own machines at 19 Church Street, Wolverhampton, which included improved form of wheel bearing. Many people wanted his bicycles and in 1870 he started building and selling racing machines. He made many improvements to his bicycles and they soon became the best racing machines available at the time. He took part in the races that were held in the, the grounds of the Molyneux Hotel Wolverhampton and won the very first cycle race to be held there in 1869. It was very successful. He started producing high wheelers in 1874 and in 1878 was awarded a gold medal for his exhibit at the London Cycle Show. His use of ball bearings and the quality of his production brought his machines widespread fame. However, he died on the 26th of June 1880 after forming the Rudge business and his widow continued to run it until November 1880 when it was sold to George Woodcock and amalgamated with a bankrupt business of Haynes and Jeffries and Smith, Starley and Co. to create the Tangent and Coventry Cycle Co. The combined business relocated, but unfortunately, after several years, they hadn't really innovated. Not enough money was put into the company. Dan Rudge himself was extremely innovative, and with his personal attention, the company had been one of the top companies in the country. But in other people's hands, it declined. And in 1894, uh, it was rescued by the Whitworth Cycle Company. The Rudge machines by 1894 were pretty old fashioned, but Whitworth again was very innovative. Charles H. Pugh were the company behind ATCO, leading manufacturers of lawnmowers. Um, Whitworth Cycle Company made their own bicycles and the combination of the two companies with the Pew family providing the necessary management structure the combined company of Rudge Whitworth developed into one of Great Britain's leading manufacturers of bicycles and motorcycles.